Good morning. Uh, today is the day. Today I'm going to get my wisdom teeth taken out. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. I have to be there by 8. So I wanted to get like some good teeth brushing in before I go there. First problem so far is that I usually drink like a whole glass of water when I first wake up and I can't do that today. So I kind of have like a headache because my, my body is telling me like you need water. But I'm not allowed to because you're not supposed to drink water beforehand. I don't know if you're not supposed to eat or drink. I had to stop at midnight last night. So yeah, I'm just like really thirsty right now. Not so much hungry, like I'm totally fine. I could, I could, I could eat, but I don't have to. But I am very thirsty. So that's just the progress update right now. I'm excited. I am, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm, I'm interested to see like what happens because I've never had this done before. I'm gonna, they're putting me under. And so I, I don't, like I know I see it in movies where people are like count backwards from 10 and they make it to like eight and then they wake up at the end of the surgery. So I feel like it would be like time travel, right? Like you, you don't realize that you're asleep and then you just wake up and it's done. I'm excited to, to experience that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just interested in the entire process and like what's gonna happen. A little bit nervous, just because it's never it's something I've never done before. But I'm not like overly nervous where I'm like I'm confident that everything's gonna go just fine. Like I'm done. I'm like excited for it to just be done. So let's do it. Let's finish getting ready. I gotta brush my teeth, and then should be about you know about time to get ready to go. So another thing that I have to do that I'm not gonna be used to is that I have to, I can't drink through a straw. So normally I drink my water out of this cup, which, or out of this mug, which has a little flip top that I, you know, drink out of. So I'm not, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. And I, I just have to get used to that because now I have to do one of these. And I feel like I'm blabbing now because I'm just like waiting for the time to come where I have to go to the dentist and get my teeth pulled. And it's time for me to leave. And I have to do this. I have to take off all my jewelry. Oh yeah. Which I don't like doing, but it's happening. All right, now it's like, it's go time. Oh no. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm nervous for you. All right? Not, not because I think something's gonna go wrong, but I just, I'm I don't know. I'm nervous of the after effects. Like I don't know what my mouth is gonna feel like at the end of the day. Yeah. And tomorrow. Yeah. And like, I'm gonna miss hot dogs for a little bit. <laughs> Let's do it. And okay. I'm gonna eat some applesauce and ice cream. That's true. Mm. Okay, somebody's back from the dentist. It's me. <laughs> I'm still in love in my mouth. Oh my gosh, yeah, look. Ah. Oh no, that was <laughs> terrible. Your cheeks are really like... There's stuff in there. So wait, you look like very chipmunky. I have stuff in my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> like some gods. Yeah. Can't feel my tongue. Yeah. Can't feel my lips. No. I can't feel out here. I just yeah. all numb. So was it just, did they just pull the teeth? Mm-hmm. That's all it was? Like they didn't do any... No surgery on a grape, just teeth pulling? With teeth pulling, I sold the gums closed. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Just so I help it heal faster. Yeah, okay. And closer together. All right, so you don't need to talk anymore, though. It was wild. Okay. <laughs> I think you should go lay down. I'm not going to lay down. Oh, you're not? I can sit. Okay, well, I think you should sit down and just relax. You want to watch some TV? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been about an hour after your procedure and we just changed your gauze. Yeah. It was pretty bloody. Real bloody. Yeah, so we have to do this for every 45 minutes for the next four hours. Four hours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Did you That's just burp a, in my vlog? Well, because I tried to drink some water. It's the first time I drank water today. <laughs> oh, no. It's very hard because I can't feel my chin. Oh, yeah. Or my lip. Oh, no. This lip I am healed. But yeah. I can't feel this one. So yeah. it was like... I thought it was just going to be like, Bleh. Oh no. <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah, you did good. I can't feel my tongue. At least it's not super bloody anymore. Yeah. It All right. better. High five. <laughs> yeah. You did it. I also thought that it was going to be, oh, so I want to tell you guys, I know that I have like gauze in my mouth, so I sound funny, but it was so bizarre. Oh yeah. So I was asking you how, cause they, I didn't know if they put you under or if they gave you like, so when I got mine done, they gave me Valium, um, but I was still kind of like awake for the stuff. Right. Or at least, I actually, I don't remember. I do remember they gave me a Valium before, and then they did it. But so for you, what'd they do? Knock me out. Oh. It was wild. Yeah. And they numbed my mouth. Yeah. They said, all right, we're gonna give you something soon, and then knock you out, it's just gonna calm me down, make me feel sleepy. I was like, okay. So they, sorry, I don't know if you could understand him. They said, he said that they gave him something. They said, it's not going to knock you out. It's just going to make you feel sleepy and calm you down. And they said, it's getting cold in here. Yeah. 
Well, go get you a blanket. Yeah, so he was cold, so they gave him a blanket. So they brought me a blanket, and I put a blanket on me, and I said, thank you, and then I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were done? Yeah. And that, that was it, your teeth were gone. Yeah, well, it was like time traveling. So you, you woke also, up? they were still working in my mouth when I woke up. Oh, because they had to suture up the gums where they pulled the teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was wild. Yeah. So you uh, woke up missing four teeth. Yeah. Did they show them to you? No, I wish I had seen them. I would I ask. Kind of out of it, coming out of it. Yeah. You know, like, well, get a wheelchair. I'm like, oh, wheelchair. Oh, uh, wheelchair? Sat in a wheelchair. Okay. And they wheeled me out to the car. I was like, oh. All right. Nice well, work. Was. Well, you did good. Yeah. Now I can't operate any heavy, heavy machinery for a while. They said you can't drive, you can't cook, which I thought was interesting. There were three things, driving, cooking, and something. Drinking. I think it was heavy machinery. Oh, and, and, drink. and drinking. And it said on the paper, it said, no not alcoholic even. beverages for the first 24 hours, not even a beer. Not even beer. And I was like, why did they have to specify that? Like, beer is an alcoholic beverage. Yeah. So. You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? Make some toast. No, you can't have oh. toast. Oh, you can't cook or have toast. No, I know. You're not. a menace. Just... <laughs> All right, you I need to. I fine. I think you should. Numb mouth. I think you should relax. I think you should watch something on Disney Plus, mm. and or whatever, whatever. Pam and Tommy. Yeah, actually, that's what I was thinking. And then you should, uh, which I can't believe that's on Disney Plus. What? It's on Hulu too. What timeline are we in? Mm. <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you should rest. Okay, love you. My love you. Oh no, how's the sick baby feeling? I feel terrible. Oh no. Yeah, my face really hurts. Um, so the numbing, like, so what they did is they knocked me out and then they also injected numbing stuff all around. Right. So that stuff's starting to wear off now. Oh, the numbing? Yeah, so like, oh. this is still numb. Like, I can't feel this right, right here. But everything else is like there now and like throbbing. So we are, so you ate some bone broth mm -hmm. for lunch. And some applesauce. And some applesauce. And how did that feel? Bad. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. The cold applesauce was, it hurt. The bone broth wasn't bad. It was just like drinking soup. Right. So. But now um, we're going to go get your prescriptions mm -hmm. and then hopefully that'll help. So you're going to take just some Motrin. Yeah. Some Motrin. They gave me uh, codeine. Just in case, like it's too bad. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna stick to the Motrin. What was the other thing they gave you? Uh, antibiotic. Oh, in case you have like an infection. They said to just take it anyways. Oh, okay. So you're gonna take yeah. an antibiotic and some Motrin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've been saying that you're cold. Yeah. I so think that's just like a reaction my body is having to like the, the painkillers, pain and stuff. Oh, okay. In my face. <laughs> right. So my body's like rushing all the blood to this area. Oh, to gotcha. try to like repair it. Well, and we've changed your gauze about four times now. Mm -hmm. I think so. It's getting better. The last time that we took it out, there wasn't it. Uh, there was still some white that I could see mm. on the gauze. So I still have gauze in my mouth right now. But oh no, I'm not having a fun day. Oh no, bud. That's okay though. Well, I think that I think it's just sorry. I, I think it's funny to see you all bundled up because you're never cold I know. so it's just i know that you're not feeling good because you're all wrapped up in the blanket yeah we got this blanket at target by the way and it's so nice by the way i watched the first two episodes of pam and tommy lee oh i meant to tell, to tell them i hate it oh you didn't like it yeah no it's terrible like, oh they're they're both like terrible people oh she is too i mean she's not but like she's just feeding into it you know oh no He's really bad. Yeah. Like, he's a terrible person. I kind of wonder, like, what the actual Tommy Lee has to say about all this. <laughs> right? He probably doesn't care. Yeah. I wonder if he's getting paid for it. I don't know. Because it's like him. It's a depiction of him. Right? So Good how does question. that work, you know? But also, I meant to tell you guys. So I meant to tell you guys that we could not find it on Disney+. Plus. So I don't know if that was just, like... It was on there for, like, a couple of days or something was like that? that? Well, was that, like, a glitch in the Matrix? Like, I, I clearly remember people saying that they were watching it on Disney+. Plus. Mm-hmm. So, what happened? I don't know. Was that, uh, are we in an alternate timeline? Like, what, where, where, those things were really happened, right? Right. Okay. But yeah, so you've been watching it on Hulu. I think I'm going to watch it at some point, just not right now. Yeah. Although you did. The scene where he confesses his love to himself. Who? Tommy Lee. To himself? Well, he confesses his love to Pamela Anderson to himself. 
Okay. Himself. Oh. <laughs> and it talks back. Ooh. Yeah, it was weird. Okay, well, this is a family vlog. So, um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to... Um, Tim's gonna relax for a little bit and then we will check back in with you guys later and let you know how he's feeling in just a little bit How long has it been? It's been maybe like an hour and a half or so since the last time we talked to him. Yeah, I think so How are you feeling? I feel good. Like... Oh wait, wait, you look you look less chip monkey. Okay. Yeah, I took the gauze out mm -hmm. so The gauze is not in there anymore and that was it's been about four hours since yeah. you got home and it feels like it, I took pictures in there and it's not as bloody as like I thought it was gonna be so that's good. Yeah, my biggest issue right now is like right here is starting to get sensation back. Oh yeah. But it like stings. Oh, I don't really? know why it stings. Oh no. It's like, you know when your leg falls asleep? Mm hmm That's what it feels like right now. Oh weird. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's, this is the most uncomfortable spot for me right huh. now, which is strange. And he told me that there's like a nerve that runs right underneath your wisdom teeth. Oh. He's like, your tooth is pretty close to it, but like, I don't think anything's going to happen. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you might, you might have, He's like, you won't lose sensation in, in places, but you might, it might feel different. And I'm like, I hope it's not like this, because this is terrible. Like forever, he means? Yeah. No, I don't think it'll be forever. Yeah, forever? <laughs> um, you know what another thing that he told me was? What? That when he took an x-ray to see them, mm -hmm. there's like stones in my saliva glands. From like kidney stones? Like kidney stones, but not kidney stones. What does that mean? He said it's nothing to worry about because it's not causing any issues right now, but it could like give a blockage and like cause me to swell back here. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. And I finally, I took my, uh, my Motrin, feel better. Okay. Like things are hurting less. Oh, good. Okay. I've, I've had a headache all day and I talked to you guys about this this morning and the headache's gone, which is great. All right. High five. Yeah. And you know what else is really fun? What? There might be a rocket launch today and I think I might be able to just like look out the window here, sitting can see it. Just see it out the window? Oh no, yeah. this is like, you know that movie, that rear window movie? What? This is oh, like that. Oh, because he has like a broken leg or yeah, something? Yeah, and then he like sees a murder happen. Oh yeah. This is like that, except for more science-y, less murdery. Yeah. All right, I like it. Yeah. Cool. By the way, this is like a little teeny tiny rocket that they're launching out today. For what? It's called Astra. It's what? like a, a new company, I think. So I am feeling pretty good. Like, there is still some pain in my mouth, but not like a ton of pain. Like earlier today, before I took that Motrin, I was like, wow, this is going to be a terrible next few days. Uh, and then I took the Motrin and I'm totally fine now. No worries at all. I just ate my first actual meal of the day. So I'd been drinking like bone broth and eating. I ate some applesauce earlier, but right now what I did is I took a, a bunch of applesauce, like a cup and a half of applesauce, and then I mixed in peanut butter powder. And that's what I ate tonight for dinner. And I feel, I feel satisfied. I think I've probably only eaten, like by the end of the day today, I will have only eaten maybe 500 calories. So I'm definitely not like eating quite enough, but this is just like where I'm at. I can't, I haven't really, don't really have anything to eat. We're gonna have a lot of mashed potatoes. We're gonna have, um, I'm getting carnation instant breakfast so that I can drink that in the morning. And as it goes on, like I feel like after about three days, I should be able to be into like, oh, I'm eating like macaroni and cheese. And then by like Monday, next Monday, I think I'll just be back to eating regular food. Possibly. I don't really know though. I do feel like I can taste blood inside of my mouth right now after eating that um, applesauce. Because I, I feel like I kind of like, when I swallow, I feel like that moves around the, the clot that is like closing up the keeping the blood inside my mouth. So far, I don't think, I just looked in my mouth and I don't think it's bleeding, but I can kind of taste a little bit of blood. One thing that they told me to do is that if, if I have, like if I have a big bleed, to take tea bags and stick it in there. And, and apparently the tea bags will help my mouth heal. <laughs> I don't know why or how, but that's what they say to do. So some of you guys may know this, but Jackson loves to ask Siri to tell him jokes. And usually they're not very good jokes. Was it a good one tonight? The one that he got tonight was, a lot of people say icy is the easiest word to spell. Mm -hmm. And come to think of it, I see why. <laughs> it's good, right? Do you guys see how, how swollen his cheek is? How swollen is my cheek? Can you see it? Oh, you can kind of see it right there. It's this side. Yeah. I keep trying to tell you it's swollen and we should put ice on it. I mean, I can put ice on it. I've just been... But he's like, no, 
that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt me or anything. Funny? It doesn't feel swollen. Oh, oh. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. You okay. are? Are you very tired? Yeah. What are we doing? Be careful, Daddy. Daddy has... <laughs> okay. <laughs> my nose. That's the scariest thing I've ever had happen to me in my life. Oh, no. You gotta be careful. Daddy's very fragile right now. By the way, I just want everybody to know that I told, I told him that I was gonna do this, and he said no. What? That I would do this. Do what? Squeeze my nose? No, do do the nighttime routine. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's enough, buddy. That's enough. That's enough. Let's calm down. It's bedtime, okay? Yeah, no worries. Like, it's not, not difficult. Um, also, I can feel my chin now, too, by oh, the way. That, that came back, like, uh, earlier today, but I just forgot about it. Oh. So. Well, I'm glad you can feel things. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel just fine, but my face is swollen. Does it I'm hurt? Watching. No, this side doesn't hurt. This side hurts. Hmm. This side's not swollen. Let me see. It looks better. Yeah, so I hmm. sat down, iced it for a little bit. What were you doing? Playing solitaire. <laughs> I've been addicted to solitaire recently. Oh no, so old man game. One time, mm -hmm. I was able to beat it in 82 moves. Oh, really? Yeah. And I've been striving for that, for that <laughs> goal ever since, and I haven't been able to do it. Ding dang. All right, so while you are doing this, relaxing, yeah. maxing. Shoot some hoops outside of the school. No, don't shoot any hoops. You, you got your wisdom teeth out. Oh, yeah. But while you're doing this, I'm going to go start getting packed because we leave tomorrow for our, our fun thing. I also think I'm going to work out on the bike. All right now? Maybe. Should I? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I've been watching this YouTuber who, um, <laughs> his name is Mike's Mike, and he did this series explaining Pretty Little Liars, where he literally goes through every single episode of Pretty Little Liars and just explains the entire series. And it's like, I think it was seven seasons long, and each season had like 20 something episodes. So it was, it was literally like, six hours of video of him explaining the series and i didn't watch the full explanation series because i just didn't have time and i watched the original one on like a fast speed so i feel like i didn't really get all of the information but i enjoyed his commentary so i've been watching his other videos and right now he's explaining riverdale and i kind of want to watch riverdale because it sounds like wild i watched season one and i just don't remember it being that weird yeah. So I guess after season one, there's just all kinds of weird things that happen, just like really weird stuff. Well, like Sabrina was a spinoff of it, wasn't it? Yeah, but Sabrina was like a, like a horror. It was you knew it was weird to begin with because well, that's. No, but I'm just saying there are weird things in that universe, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. No, there's definitely. But I think what I mean is, is that when they did season one, they didn't. You didn't go into season one thinking, oh, this is gonna be like aliens and jingle jangle and oh yeah jingle jangle the, like the black hood and What's the black hood i don't i guess it's like some serial killer in riverdale oh no and like the the, the gangs and all kinds of the time jumps i don't know they i just, they didn't to me it didn't seem like that's the kind of show it was going to be right. so i want to i kind of want to watch it and see like where what what happens after season one so that's what i think i might do i might go ride the bike and watch an episode Okay. or two but today i feel like today was i i was really kind of nervous because i thought that you were going to be more in more pain than you were in um, i'm really happy right. that you weren't yeah i'm happy right. that it was that it was not as like i, I thought it's going to be bad like it still does hurt right but like okay so they gave me two prescriptions they gave me a prescription for motrin and then tylenol with codeine mm -hmm. and like it doesn't hurt enough for me to use Cody. Right. Like, it's just enough. The Motrin's fine. Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. So, I think that's, that's... that's my pain level. Okay. I'd say it's about a, a four. Well, I'm just, I'm glad. I'm glad that it wasn't, that you, you weren't in a lot of pain. I'm happy about that. Right. So, tomorrow, we're going to be doing something way more fun than this. I promise. Ooh. What? You know what I want to know? What? People that have had their wisdom teeth out, when did you start eating normal food again? It's on your paper. No, it was like... Go by feel. It was like by day three you could, but like he's into it. I mean, then that's like, what I would do. All right. Well, I mean, I'm gonna eat a hot dog on day three. No. <laughs> and thus our day draws to a close. Uh, yeah, got my teeth out today. It was exciting. 
<laughs> Glad that I did it. Uh, my face hurts kind of a lot. So yeah, finished watching the first three episodes of Pam and Tommy. It's it's getting to be an interesting and exciting show. I do hate Tommy Lee, but I really like Pamela. Like uh, she, I like her character. I know that it's a real person. I like I like her story a lot. So I'm interested to see where that goes. But now I gotta get ready for bed. I'm hoping that tomorrow, like through sleeping, my my body does some healing overnight, and I wake up feeling a lot better. Like my face feels better than it does today. We'll see how it goes. If not, then the next day it'll feel even better. Uh, we have something fun coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for letting us have a few home vlogs in a row like this. Uh, let me get my teeth out and stuff like that. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.